Before I get too into everything, I just thought I would show off the um, vegan brownies I just baked. I thought they uh, turned out alright. I know where I went wrong and I'm definitely going to improve them for next time. And here is some leftover crumbly bits. All in all, pretty happy with it. I'm gonna do one of those shots where I take the tin and hold it up to the camera. Hopefully it doesn't fall. All right, I've succeeded that time, but in future I may not be so lucky. All right, let's get into the real meat and potatoes of the video, or maybe I should say vegan sausage and potatoes of the video, or some variation like that. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about men's fragrances to be paired with certain jackets, or actually, I suppose it doesn't even have to be men's fragrances. I'm just talking about fragrances that you should pair with certain different types of jackets. I think that's a more accurate way of putting it. But before I get into that, my fragrance of the day, and that's Natio's Wild Coast. This is a unisex fragrance. I'm already wearing it. And it smells like a day at the beach. It's got a bright citrus opening. It's got a touch of amber, just ever so slight amount of that amber in the, the mid and the base. And it's got like a woody, driftwoody, sandalwoody profile as well. It's really nice actually. Um, it reminds me of CK1, however, I would say this is probably, it's a little more beachy as opposed to CK1's more neutral sort of nuances. This is definitely more of a, a warm weather fragrance, but considering how neutral it is, I think it would be also ideal for any season, any occasion, as is often the case with these sort of neutral unisex fragrances. I think it's on sale in Australia at like a lot of different pharmacies and whatnot for $25. I know it's at Priceline for about $25. Um, so yeah, at that price I would definitely check it out, especially if you're a fan of CK1, CKB and uh, similar fragrances. So there we go, that was my fragrance of the day. Now let's get into... Alright, we've got the classic denim jacket here. Do I put it on or not? That's the real question. Man, it's going to be such a pain in the ass trying to put these on and off. It's just going to watch me struggle for 10 minutes. Alright, denim jacket. Get the hair out of there. What fragrance is ideal for denim jackets? I would say, with denim in particular, given that it's sort of workwear and it sort of reminds me of like farmhands in like the Wild West, I suppose, or at least the, um, the aesthetic of that sort of, I would pair denim with a tobacco fragrance, a tobacco-based scent. CK Shock is just one of many, many examples. I tried to find my Burberry um, London bottle, but you know, I, I don't try and find things. I don't try and um, take too long finding them just because it's a pain in the butt. So yeah, tobacco fragrances for denim, I think pair really well together, especially if it's, um, you know, beginning to be part of the colder months, you know, late autumn, winter, early spring, tobacco fragrance, like CK1, is going to be absolutely ideal for your denim. Right. I might do like a more in-depth version of this video later down the track, but uh, we'll see about that, hey. Next up is my personal favourite, and that is your leather jackets, your biker jackets. Now you can go a couple different directions with leather or the leather look, the leather style. What I would advise or recommend would be something similar or akin to Dark Rebel Rider. This is a leather scent, but it also has a huge dose of amber and a touch of smoke as well, but it is primarily a dark leathery scent. Very animalic, dirty, grungy, grimy, all those adjectives. Anyway, Dark Rebel Rider for the leather look, 
but you could also, if you wanted to go into a slightly different direction, Juicy Couture's Dirty English. Now this is a woodier fragrance. Oud is one of the prominent notes, a bit spicy. It is, it's both classy and, you know, the opposite of classy at the same time. It's got a real dirtiness to it. It's both sophisticated and unsophisticated. And this is also one of my favorite fragrances as well. You can take leather and leather looking jackets in a couple of different directions, like I said. Um, there's no wrong answers, but just make sure it's complimentary, you know. Um, obviously you can wear whatever fragrance you want, any like season you want, but with something like leather or leather look material, I would recommend not going for like a super clean, sophisticated, um, balanced scent. You want something that matches the look a little bit. You want something in your face and bold. And that's my recommendation. And lastly, at least in today's video, I'm actually not struggling with these jackets as much as I thought I would, but actually no, we've got two, two things left to cover. I'll go for the um, casual overshirt now. The plaid tartan overshirt, the flanny as we call them here in Australia. I would say with like these super casual shirts, if you're wearing it sort of like in the style of a jacket, you know, when you just chuck it over a band t-shirt like I do, it's perfectly acceptable to pair it with any fragrance you want that's weather appropriate. So for today, I went with, obviously, because I was wearing this shirt earlier in the day, Natio's Wild Coast, which was my fragrance of the day. But if it were colder, I would have wore, I would have paired it maybe with something like Hugo Boss Man, or you could even go something a little more vanilla-y, incense-y, like Hugo Boss Man Orange. You can take casual shirts in a bunch of different directions. I might like, um, I think what I should do is like, do like one entire video per like jacket or something like that. I think that would be really good because I sort of work in the industry. So this sort of stuff I really enjoy doing. And lastly, we've got more formal, more dressy, more classy. This is a blazer from YD. I don't think I talked about the brands for the other ones, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Let's see how much I struggle. Oh, I didn't struggle at all. So that's good. Blazer from YD. With something like this, you are going to want to go super classy with it. Super classy. A little more to that neutral side, but still, well, in my case, being a man, a little masculine. Boys de Cedro by Lagerfeld. Super classy, super sophisticated, touch spicy, woody, just a just a great scent in general. I, I have worn this after I've showered as well. This is a great fragrance anyway. They're a slept on uh, brand, Lagerfeld. And the, what I would consider the number one, like uh, office scent, classy dressing scent, and that would be Prada's Luna Rosa. You know, it's lavender, it's office safe, it's good performance considering the DNA. This is like the epitome of like the, you know, dress up scent. And yeah, that's about all that I've got to say about what to pair with these certain items. If you've ever worn any of these before, as always, let me know in the comments below of the discussion or if you would pick something different also let me know if that's the case you know I like having the discussions I like just talking about this stuff with you guys until our next video my name is Ozzy Marcel the most luscious locks on YouTube I'll catch you guys around